If the city does try to come in here and get you out, what are you going to do? I'm going to do what's necessary, man. What is that? But first, understand why he's coming in here. What are you going to do? All right. We're going to do what's necessary. What is that? The strategy of John Africa. What is that? Our only defense. John Africa was the founder of the MOVE organization, a Philadelphia-based black liberation group prominent in the United States in the early 1970s. MOVE preached revolution advocating a return to nature and a society without government, police, or technology. During the early 1970s, MOVE was based in the Polton Village section of West Philadelphia. Members valued the personal discipline and physical strength derived from hard manual labor and maintained a hefty work schedule of daily activities such as exercising, scrubbing floors, running dogs, chopping firewood, shoveling snow, sweeping the street, and more. MOVE purchased a large Victorian house at 309 North 33rd Street, which became their headquarters. One of MOVE's fundraising activities was a very popular car wash at this location. At regular study sessions for people interested in the teachings of John Africa, MOVE welcomed dissenting views as an opportunity to showcase their belief and sharpen their oratorical skills, which they knew would be tested in their revolutionary struggle. As MOVE widened their activities across the city, other groups and neighborhoods sought their help and MOVE put their expertise to work in helping to organize demos, initiate lawsuits, and more. Moves activities came to the attention of and brought themselves into conflict with the city's three main centers of power, the media, the city authorities, and the police. The media distorted and misreported what they were doing. The police launched brutal attacks aided and abetted by the corrupt city authorities. Center stage was Frank Rizzo. Throughout the 1970s, Frank Rizzo was the premier figure in Philadelphia government. He started as a street cop and rose through the ranks eventually serving as police commissioner from 1967 to 1971. In Philadelphia's black ghettos, Rizzo's predominantly white police force was resented, feared, and hated. Capitalizing on his name recognition and tough on crime image, Rizzo mobilized sufficient voters to be elected mayor of the city for two terms from 1972 until 1980. Having built his career on opposing black efforts to challenge the status quo, he ran the city with a prominent and heavy-handed police force that had a national reputation for brutality. Confrontation in Philadelphia between MOVE and the Rizzo administration forces was frozen in photographs and splashed across the press of the nation. Pictured was surrendering MOVE member Delbert Africa being beat and kicked by four policemen. Moments earlier, Officer James Ramp was shot dead. Fourth largest in the country, Philadelphia is a city whose black population has tripled since the Second World War. In the wake of the civil unrest of the 60s, then police commissioner Frank Rizzo ran for mayor on a law and order platform and won. The year Rizzo took office in 1972 was the same year that the MOVE organization comprised of the family Africa began to mobilize. MOVE demonstrated against police stations, school board officials, and public figures such as Jane Fonda, Jesse Jackson, and a variety of others who would, in their words, mislead the people with misinformation, offering only the problem and not a solution. Subsequently, MOVE relocated to a row house at 6221 Osage Avenue in 1985. On May 13th, which was Mother's Day, MOVE had weapons and had built a bunker in the attic of the house they lived in. They boarded up the windows and the doors and they began protesting using a bullhorn at random parts of the day and night. Responding to months of complaints by neighbors, the police department put the house under siege. Eventually, shots started being fired. The fire department started hosing the house to force out the inhabitants, but MOVE members stayed inside. Eventually, the shooting stopped. The police then dropped a bomb on the house using a state helicopter and a military-grade C-4. Of 1985, the Philadelphia Police Department dropped a bomb on the headquarters of the MOVE movement, a radicalized black nationalist organization. The bombing killed 11 people inside, including six children. 
The resulting explosion started a fire that officials deliberately allowed to burn for 10 to 12 hours, which not only caught the move house on fire, but also burnt down the entire block and some 62 homes were destroyed. In addition, 11 people, including John Africa, five other adults and five children died in the resulting fire. Ramona Africa and one child, Bertie Africa, were the only survivors. Move later petitioned the court to indict the mayor, the chief of police, and others for murder in the fourth degree. However, their petition was denied. Today, Ramona Africa still continues to advocate for the MOVE organization. You know, what's happening with the MOVE organization is that we are revolutionaries true revolutionaries and we don't make no apologies for that you know we don't back off of that word revolution at all and we don't back off of it because we know that at this time more than any other time you know revolution is necessary